Yo YouTube, what is going on? This is your boy Dude Named Chris here bringing to you another sneaker video. It's out here in my backyard, it's raining. Finally got some sunlight, so might as well get into this video. This is actually going to be using the Crep spray, the waterproof spray, ultimate stain. This stuff is amazing. I'm doing it on my new pickup, the tan Yeezys as my last video. I'm going to be spraying on this. I'm going to show you guys what you can do with Crep. Um, I've used it on all my other Yeezys and this stuff is amazing. So man, let's get into the video. All right, so let's get into this crap. Um, the directions on this is very simple. Make sure your shoes are nice and clean. Um, these I've worn once, and I gave them a nice little brush off beforehand. So basically, for the you do two coats. Um, one coat I'd go pretty good on. We'll just start spraying right now. It says about six inches away is about what I go. For the first coat, I kind of layer it on there. I go all around the shoe. Just keep spraying it up on there. Um, you don't want to do too much. I mean, I've heard people say you can use too much, but the first layer I normally layer it up pretty good. Make sure you get everything um, all covered up, basically. You don't want some of your shoe to be waterproof and some of it not to be waterproof. You get a good coat on there. Alrighty, that's about good for the first coat. All right, then you let that sit for about 10 minutes, and then we'll be right back with a second coat. So there's the first 10 minutes. Now we go to the second coat. Um, second coat, I normally go a little bit lighter, uh, a little bit farther away. I don't know. That's just what I do. Um, I've had good results with it so far. Um, I actually think I'm about to redo my uh, Turtle Doves and Black Pirates because I'm actually headed to Reno this weekend and I'm going to wear them and it's going to be snowing raining or snowing so it's probably gonna be in the snow and yes we wear them in the snow oh there goes one can down go to the second can um you don't need two cans this can was just very low um a can will normally get you i think they say like three pairs of shoes so yeah so then i'll just go like this the very end go over everything all right Eddie. Alrighty, we'll do another 10, maybe 15 on this one just because it's the last one. You want everything to be completely dry. We'll let everything dry out and then we, I will be back with the water test to make sure that no water is on the shoe or the water just slides straight off. Alright guys, we are back. Right, so it's been about 12 minutes or so. I'm gonna check and make sure they're dry, which they are. So, alrighty, here comes the test. Then we're gonna do the water test. Let me actually get on this side. Who was I drop the shoes? Let's straighten that out. Actually, there we go. And see if this will. Oh, as I shoot myself with it. Oh yeah, look at that. comes right off let me actually take the lid off here make sure y'all can see it just shoots it right off of there hopefully that's a good enough angle for you I don't know if you guys can see there it is dry so now for the third <coughs> final test I'll actually move this right here can you guys see it there there we go I'm not even gonna say nothing I'm just gonna do it look at that look at that Get some water. Let 
give it a nice little white Woo! That is beautiful. Sorry it's a little dark, but yeah, man, crepe, if you don't mess with it, I highly suggest it. It's a great product. As you can see, it works great. <laughs> Shoe is actually dry. Let's see if I can, can't really see it on my hand. But yeah, man, I don't want to put my shoe back on the ketchup. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you guys want to see more of that, hit the subscribe button. But until next time, but guys, it's your boy, a dude named Chris. Have a good one.